that's fine. Ship bangers. Ship bombers. Ship bang bows. Ship bingles. Um, that. Okay. That is a good game. <laughs> uh, it really doesn't matter. They all go to the graveyard. We don't really have graveyard stuff. So, boom, bam. Three ten tens, man. So, shaboomy. We win right here. Shabammy. But no, we're just gonna we're just gonna be normal. Beautiful. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, you know we gotta grab the manifest dread. Both of these. So that we just gain so much life. It's Jover, brother. Worm. Friggin' what are you gonna do about it, bro? We're getting six a creature. Absolutely check this out, boys and girls. Choose our own guy. Beautiful. He's already tapped down, so it doesn't even matter. Plus, we splash portal. Jaboomy. So I am completely addicted to Doppelganger. This card, I think it's been written off a little bit. I don't see too many people running it, but honestly, run it, man. Like, if you cast this for an 8-mana spell, you're getting two copies of two things, okay? So when X is 2, two copies of two things is mostly what you're aiming for. To do it for X is 3, you need 11 mana. That, uh, that is not a problem in this deck at all. We're running so much ramp. It's really, really powerful stuff. Um, usually turn one, you like a tap land or whatever. You're not doing anything fancy. Turn two, you can glimpse the core or you can thunder trap trainer, helping you find your ramp spells or your doppelgangs or your Avalgavos onslaught, which is almost just as good. I've cast this for like X's eight before because I had uh, 17 mana. Like it's absolutely crazy. Your heaped harvest is going to get you two mana over the course of a couple turns or even one turn if you ramp early enough. Your cliff top lookouts ramping as well. You're drawing cards with Pawn Profit. You're drawing tons of cards with Dream Drew, Dream Dew in Trancer, which is such a good card. I can't even tell you. Tap three stun counters on something. It's essentially removing it. And honestly, you put this on like your trainer or your cliff top, and then you just splash portal it. And often the turn, like the lines that you can make with this are really, really flexible. You also have Overlord of the Haunt Woods in the three drop slot. You can also do Overlord of the Flood Pits here. So you have a lot of like options for either drawing cards or ramping. And if you're drawing cards, you're pretty much ramping because that's getting you more lands. So between Glimpse the Core, these six cards here, your Splash Portal drawing you tons of cards, also doubling up your Cliff Top, um, enter the Battlefield Triggers, right? is really good you're drawing two cards here you're buying time with this you're buying time with your into the flood maws i can't overstate how good this deck is now we have just some fun cards here that are actually really really powerful so there's four in total so if you can hit one of these you're in business i'll go over the worm first if you could copy two if you have a worm on the field and you copy two with doppelgang then all of a sudden you have 15 trample damage they're swinging that turn because of haste. You also copied something else. And when you copy your overlords, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but you can, yeah, get the creature half. They don't come in like a impending creature. So if you copy either of these three cards that we're running, uh, then you can just have value. So like, it's insane. Railway Brawler. So if you copy this guy, they, if you do the doppelgang for X's two, then you get two copies of this guy. They'll come in as 2020s. Um, it is absolutely insane because the two copies will enter at the same time. So they'll actually interact with themselves. Um, and it's insanity. If you copy a Tyranorex as well, if you have this guy, you know, if you have your railway brawler, you get a couple of copies of this too. It is bananas. Often if you just have this guy and you copy something else that ramps you or something that the opponent has that can buy you some time, even deep cavern bats is such a great target. You know, you get a couple deep cover bats, they only have two more cards in hand. You're just like, well, whoo, now you got to deal with this. So, 
Like, it is so fun to play. It is so good. It is ridiculous. Valgaboss Lair, honestly, this is basically a 5-drop, right? You cast this for X's 2, you get 2 creatures that are 4-4s. Four a 5-mana spell that gets you 2 4-4s four is really fine. And if you can do this for a 7-drop play, which happens a lot, three creatures that come in as five fives wow and if you have railway brawler on the field then they'll come in as ten tens for example i've done that so many times and i just cannot underestimate overstate how good doppelgang is i think three is the perfect number of copies because again you have your thunder traps to find you that card this is also almost a six drop right chunk block with it buying you some time um it is so good it's really really a good card and i can't don't overlook Splash Portal. This is such a good card. I think three is also perfect for this. We have one little counter spell in here. Again, Into the Flood Maw is buying you a little bit of time. That should be all of the cards. I think maybe, I don't know if I talked about Invasion of Zendikar, but yeah, you know how good these four drop ones are. Because all of a sudden, you go from four mana to six, and if you have a mana in your hand, then you already have seven. And if you have another mana... Um, then you can do the 8 mana play doppelgang next turn. It is not hard at all to do. It is actually really, really easy. 8, again, is the magic number for this card. It is just such a momentum swing at that point of the game. Um, if you, you know, they, they often have stuff. You copy two Rotten Mouth Vipers, you're feeling good. Plus, you're copying two of their pesky, your, their Leyline Bindings, right? You can get two of their Leyline Bindings. Um, it is so good. So between these five cards here as you're just bombs, plus like your Tyranorex, and these are really good five drops. What's really nice about Railway Brawler is you can plot it if you have like just one mana short of making an efficient play that turn. So everything comes together so good. Um, it's ridiculous. I think just 24 lands, um, the standard is perfect so I, um, I this is like the most fun i've had in quite a while now i have four games for you i turned on the recording and i won the first four in like 20 minutes like it was like such such fast um maybe not fast but just such efficient games i was just balling and i actually didn't i don't know what it is there's always one card that i want to show off in the recordings that i just won't draw well actually there was a one game where i could have laid this card but it just made more sense to like lay tyrannorex and just win right there um actually i think i casted another doppelgang instead but like this is this is good run run two copies of this for sure this is this is great um, you can off like hit, if you hit your worm with the manifest dread, then you can flip it over. It has trample. You can flip this guy over. It has trample, um, and they're just bigger. Um, so all of a sudden, you can win the game out of nowhere. Um, do not over, don't underestimate Clifftop Lookout. This blocks the deep cavern bats all day, man. It's so good. Just this one, these one two bodies are somehow like really good right now. And I don't know. I've been winning a lot with this. Um, I just kind of put it together like. Well, this is like my second version. I was messing around with it late last night before I went to bed. I didn't really play any games. And then this morning, I've just been cooking for hours, dude. Just winning. So, like, it is strong. It shouldn't be sneezed at. And, again, like, the overlords are perfect. You can copy them. Get a bunch of six fives that ramp you even more. You can cast a second doppelganger. You can cast a, a second Valgavos Onslaught or one after a doppelganger for a huge mana. It's just so much, like, it's such a swingy deck. I don't know if I've played such a swingy deck as this. People will scoop. Um, there are so many good targets that aren't legendary that you can copy um, right now that the opponents will be playing, that we're playing. In fact, is there even a legendary creature in this deck? There is not. So everything we can copy. It is so crazy. I was copying enchantments, um, deep cavern bats, um... Rat mouth vipers as i said uh all morning and it's been really really fun man so uh thanks for i don't want to drag this on too much but i i don't know why but this is like probably my favorite deck in a while this is so fun i think that the numbers are f great like we have enough like big creatures that we should be able to copy at least one of these unless it's just like heavy heavy removal but even then if they're featuring so much removal, then they probably don't have too many big creatures themselves. And if they do, if they squeak one out, we just copy it, you know? And sometimes it does suck if you have to copy, like, a shoulder. I don't think you're going to be in a position where you have to copy a legendary creature. And often if they're running stuff like that, they're running, you know, getting too sheltered by ghosts um, is good. You know what I mean? Um, 
two ley line bindings, as I said earlier. There's just so many targets. It's just such a flexible, good card, and you will not believe how much mana you can get up to. Okay, let's do it. Thank you again. I love you. See you in the next video. Maybe check out at least one game. That'd be great. Don't forget to like it if you could. I'd really appreciate that. So, goodbye. <laughs> this is a pretty darn good hand, dude. We have the Splash Portal. This guy say hello. I'll say hello. Um, yeah, man. Cannot complain here. Ooh. I think we get rid of one of the otters, I think, I guess. Sure. Man, I hate that card, dude. It comes up so much. Uh, we will lead with the greeners because we don't want to take ping damage if we need to. Um, we could potentially get like an overlord, which uses two greens. And uh, we might not get the fourth mana anyway, so it's like definitely, definitely that. Well, that's, that's obvious. That's obvious. Everyone knows that. All right, we'll get rid of one splashers. And we thunder trappers. Young trap. Oh, dude, I keep... Oh, yeah, this trap. Um, ooh. See, it's like I always want to grab doppelganger early. It's like I always hit it early in the game like that with this. But it's like we're running three copies. We should at least either top deck one or, you know, we'll get more thunder traps. Um, or we hit our Valgavos uh, onslaught, which is... Almost just as good, but Doppelganger, obviously, like, being able to target anything is just insanity. It's, it's complete insanity. Um, I don't want to get a, I don't want to get rid of Heap Harvest, so I guess it has to be Splash Portal. Ah, <sighs> dude, that feels bad. Splash Portal is obviously nuts, because then you get a look again, you draw a card, because it's an otter. Okay, <laughs> got another otter. So, that's beautiful. So definitely keep harvest. Absolutely massive, folks. Just kidding. It's not. It's not like life changing. <laughs> okay, there's the double brother. So. I think this is one of those turn. Huh. This is what we do. They're probably playing Liliana. They're probably playing Removal. We tap our own guy. We draw two cards. We already got the same value out of him. Um, and with Splash Portal on Dr Dream Do, like it's just so good for obvious reasons. But we got rid of our Splash Portals, so that's sad. Um, so this is a kind of turn that I like a lot because. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap this for the. Cast this for the impending cost. Okay. We... Huh. Yeah, let's play Thunder Trap then. Yeah, let's play Thunder Trap. I kind of wanted to heap, heap Harvest there, but... We're going to wait one more time. No, and it's a whiff. So those always do feel bad. I always... When I was making the deck, I was like, should I run more non-creatures, or should we just try to get lucky? So, never lucky. No, I'm just kidding. But like between a frog and heap harvest, we are in business to setting up the eight mana doppel. And if you can eight mana doppel, you are in friggin' business, brother. I think I've cast this. Have I? Yeah, I cast this for X is four. So you need sixteen mana. That's the highest I've ever done, uh, realistically. So yeah, we we just yeah we just do this. Um, and we just do this. Okay, folks. Nice. We hit the Restless Vine Stalker Rooney, too. <clears throat> so, yeah. You can Rex. Ooh, I almost want to Rex. Because it has Ward 4. But they might be playing Liliana. If, like, I lay this and then they lay Liliana. Dude, that's, like, so, so fucking crap. <gasps> Not the Acklesalts. Say it ain't so. Um. Am I worried about Acklesoats? I don't think I am. Do we just lay this and then try to copy it with Doppel? Yeah, because that's what we're trying to do. That's exactly the move we're trying to do. Boom! Yeah. No need to get fancy. I would say. <gasps> dude, they blocked. Dude, you weren't supposed to do that. No, that's good, though. Getting that close out is good. Shh. 
sure, brother. Oh my god, I almost clicked decline. Jesus. Why is that even an option, to be honest? Nah, I guess. I guess. I can see the reason. So we have 6, 9, 10. So if we get an untapped mana, we can do the X's 3. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. No, okay, so, I mean, it's their whole turn. It's their whole turn. Dude, we're fine with that, brother. Alright, give me the untaps. <laughs> Say that so. No, yeah, so we just friggin' X is 2 is fine. Because we can target this. We can also target this. But we could make them remove their stuff, but no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be normal. Beautiful. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, you know we gotta grab the Manifest Dread, but obviously the Glimpse of the Core is pretty good here, too. And we didn't hit anything there, so that's fine. So we save the Valgaboss Onslaught. So they just, like, play into each other so well. Like, Thunder Trap Trainer really friggin' brings this deck together in such a way, man. This card is really, really good. Honestly, I mean, the fact that you could offspring it, it's just like a chunk blocker that gets you, like, a killer card out of nowhere is nutty. Ah, uh, so we win if we friggin' Dream Do. But, like, is that even fun? You know what I mean? Is that even fun? Man, I wanted to cast Valga. How much is this? Two. We got five, seven. No, let me do it. <laughs> all right so here he is um this hand sucks hmm <laughs> okay this is a bad hand it's yeah it's actually yeah it's just doppels to, you don't really want to see it this is great but like two splash portals with two tap mana and uh, into the flood mall i don't know about that one chief this is a lot better this is a lot better it's not fantastic either goodbye forest um, yeah. Okay. I think we have a fighting chance. We are the fighting chance haver. Whoa, Selesnia, folks? Is that even allowed? Is that even legal? Can you do that in the state of California? I'm just kidding. I'm playing from Alaska. <laughs> Not... Bro, I would never live in Alaska. People that live there are psychopaths. No, I'm just kidding. Some people get born there, and that's all they know, and I understand that. Uh, okay. Well, I don't like the saddle thing going on here. I'm not a big fan. Plot. Okay, yeah, plotting could be massive, because I think if we're just, like, bigger creatures this game, we might be able to run over whatever they're doing. Are there three mana four fours in Selesnia? Yeah, there's got to be. Oh, yeah, there's even the raccoon. That is actually really good. Um, so, this is fine, man. This is fine. You cast this. You friggin' Thunder Trapper. You friggin' get your doppel. I was gonna say, I should have said it first. You friggin' get your doppel, dude. And then you friggin' Cliff Top, bro. So these creatures obviously aren't so synergistic with railroad. I mean, the deck's just functioning though with all these guys. Like it, it's like yeah, that's like one of the that's one of the minor sacrifices you make that like, you know. But honestly, a two three reach is nice. That happen like this is relevant a lot somehow. Um. Okay, so they're trying to set up here on us, but I'm sorry, sir. We are just the Buku Banana Haver. Whoa, the dusk. Legion Duelist with counters. Wow. Okay, so they're going to get big. They're going to be a big boy. They're the big boy getters. Um, hmm. Tap down on one guy. This guy's now a 6 7. I love when that happens. Um, yeah, Thunder Trapper here can be massive. If we hit a Splash Portal... Whew. Okay, Glimpse of Core. That's fine. Alrighty then. Do we swing? 
We are at seven. Man, I don't want to lose him. Nah. Nope. Nope, nope. It's going to get removed. Watch. Nope, 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 nope. Got to be patient, mate. You got to be patient. You got to do it. You just absolutely got to do it. Mate. I don't know what accent that was. It was Australian or British. Don't hate me if you're Australian or British. Sometimes they... <laughs> when I... when I, I like... I always start British and Australian. <laughs> start Australian and British. It's like... Don't hate me, dude. No! It gets removed. Anyway. <laughs> I show this one. Saying it so well. Bro, the Hydra. What are you going to do? Swing? I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's actually scary because they get all these treasures. Uh, well. Okay. No swing is kind of massive. Huh. So I think. Huh. Um. We're gonna tap down. I don't want to draw cards, but I want to draw cards. Let's do this. No hydra, because then they can't saddle. They can't get their treasures at any point. We set this up, boom, bam, biggity bangers. We get our blue. We can doppel for two, so we're feeling like a hot boy. Um, no funny business, except dude. Like, how am I not getting Volgavos Lair or uh, Onslaught? <clears throat> I want to show that off so much. No, the okay. So the Kami, the Oslith, and the Tribute. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. This is the type of deck that I would play. Major respect. <gasps> A 10 10. Too bad we can throw our stupid otter in front of it. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. So we cast this for two. Um, honestly. If. Dude, if we target both of these, like, all of their stuff is tapped and they can't do friggin' anything. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean? Bro, if we target both of these, I kind of want to target the World Tree. Because then we could draw two cards plus this. Nah, dude. Okay. We'll target World Tree. Sure. Yup. All right. Goodbye. I don't like you. Goodbye. You can't top that for mana. Now your unicorn's looking a little useless over there, bud. Shabam, shabang, shaboom, and shabongo. I'm sorry. Dude. I'm freaking <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I am actually dumb, dude. Like, I'm, I ride the short bus. Nothing wrong with that. I can't stop saying that, dude. It's so like, rude. One of my best friends rode the short bus growing up in high school. I'm actually being serious. I'm actually in like serious mode right now. And I like regretted making those jokes. He was one of my good friends. I didn't like hang out with him that much, but I really loved his. I loved him, his personality, everything. You know, so I gotta stop that. That's stupid of me. All right, the warden. Oh, that's cool. It just comes in ready to go, ready to friggin' fly on Jover, brother. Um, but if we swing with Rex, we just win, right? The lifelink boy. Not the lifelink boy. So do we want to? So they go to fourteen. If we swing with everybody plus Rex, they're dead. So no blocks. Yeah. 
Okay, sorry. We have to we have to do doppel. Um, so five seven. So x is two still. Yeah, because we don't have eleven. So I'm tripping. Um, yeah. So boom and uh, bam and uh, we win. Yeah, that's fun. Shebangers. Shebombers. Shebangbos. Shebingles. Um that okay that is a good game <laughs> okay, dude. We're, we're about to draw uh so we just made four so we're about to draw eight cards right we're about to draw eight cards because we got four then yeah dude like <laughs> this guy is really good for tapping down your guys you can splash for them early like you don't care if you tap down like your little otter that already did its job whatever what have you or your cliff top and then, yeah, you just, like, tap down all of them. I mean, dude, this is going to take forever. It's essentially removal, right? And we just like, drew cards. There's actually, like, I've actually copied a world tree, like, three times just, just today. I don't know. There's a lot of world trees going around right now. Um, we could have won with Rex, too. I mean, look at our hand. It's like we have tools. We can continue rap ramping. Um, we have Glimpse, and we have Heaped Harvest. So, like, I mean, you're just friggin' in business, like absolute buku banana bread biscuits folks okay so we, we have a pretty typical hand here one that i really like to see um we have access to both colors and we're going to turn to glimpse the core so and you go straight into a heap harvest man like you are in business because again we're trying to ramp trying to cast these big x spells and just do work oh dude if they take glimpse bro i am a sad boy I am a sad, sad boy. I guess we have an Into the Flood mod to buy us some time. But that is really Buku Bananas. They didn't even take that. What the hell? They took the frog, bro. This guy is tripping major balls. I would never never make that call. So we do need more blue mana, but again, we, like Heap Harvest does that. We are so good. We are so friggin' Buku Bananas right now, dude. Oh my god, this Red Bull is just, like, delicious, and I feel alive. Mmm. It's this stupid life gain crap that I keep seeing. I'm just kidding. If you play that, it's totally fine. So the best play we can make is this. Now, they are playing some removal-based stuff, so we're going to choose our own guy anyway. Next turn, we can do actually a lot of good work here. The reason I did that too is like we could splash portal it, right? So it's like no biggie. We gotta draw two cards off of it. Okay, that's fine. If they take splash portal, I'm sad. But they don't. They make the wrong decision again. To the flood. Okay. They are the wrong decision maker express, folks. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage though. <laughs> we're taking a lot of damage. Um, so absolutely check this out, boys and girls. Choose our own guy. Beautiful. He's already tapped down, so it doesn't even matter. Plus, we splash portal. Jaboomy. So we kind of want to tap down. Uh, I think we'd rather have that. We kind of want to tap down a guy here. We're going to tap down one of the bats because we don't want him to gain like more life and ping us for more. Um, and we have two reach creatures. They have two flyers untapped. So that feels good. We got Doppel and Overlord, dude. I just noticed. Okay. They didn't get their fourth mana. Dude, we're in biz, bro. I mean, it's probably low to the ground. They're probably playing like 22 lands. Okay. So we stopped the swing completely. Beautiful. Um, so we really want to hit the 8 mana mark for Doppel McLoppel. So, I think the idea here is... <laughs> Let's just hard cast this. Yeah. We'll get rid of Restless. Don't really need another one. Um, we'll lay this because it's revealed. We will 
do this to hopefully... Okay, that's fine. We love this card, but it's a little late. It's a little late. Maybe a turn earlier would be better. Um, we're just budgeting our life here. I think next turn we double heaped harvest, but we're at six mana, so it's it's like we don't even have to. We can just cliff top look out, which is probably better because this has reach as well, which is like a massive part of the card. Like it stops deep cavern bats. Like this exact matchup is like really good for it. Um, to be completely honest, I'm telling you, this doppelganger is gonna be back breaking. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting low. What do they have here? Okay, was, okay, so they're out of steam, bro. They are out of the steamer. What? Why would you do such a crazy thing, bro? Just kidding. Okay. So we're getting low. But who friggin' cares, brother? Um, If we cliff top, then we have four more mana to work with. That's fine. We're going to do this for sure. What's also really, like, nutty is the worm, but, like, if you can doppelgang and get, like, three worms, like, holy guacamole, you know what I mean? Um, heaped. The heapers! You got a blue, I suppose. We will... <laughs> so we have five, eight. So doppel, it goes to 11 if we try to be, like, fancy, so I don't even think... We need to do that. So I think actually putting the counter on Clifftop could be massive here because holy dude, we will keep that in all honesty. Holy no, because well yeah yeah we're keeping we're keeping Rexers dude, young Rexers McLexers dude. Oh my god, I'm talking like a freaking buffoon right now. <clears throat> Ooh, I low-key did forget about the landers. Oh, man, we're getting so low. But we're in business. Dude, we're completely in business. Young Doppel comes down, bro. It's Jover for him. Um, Does this gain us life? It does gain us life. But we have nine. So if this was untapped, that'd be really great. Maybe I should have played that last turn. Yep. I wonder if that matters, though. So we do this for two. I say we definitely copy this, obviously. Um, and we have to get a creature here. So copying this is fine. I think the reach here is massive, but also getting the deep cavern bats is like kind of massive too, because even if they swing and die, so I think, yeah, we have to hit a bat. I think we have to hit a bat so that when we trade that little bit of life will make a difference. So we go up to six. So that's exactly what I want to see here, folks. Um, we do not risk swinging. We're just going for creature time. Absolutely. If we get an untapped mana next turn, holy guacamole, because now this can go for three. And we <gasps> No, bro. Friggin' frick, dude. Um, okay. Friggin' frickers. So, cast this for two. We'll, we'll definitely target this again. Um, uh, and we actually... No, this can't block. So... We get the young, well, hmm, bro, hmm. We're going to, we're going to target both of these so that we just gain so much life. Um, no swings. Well, one swing, right? Maybe one. No, nah, there's no reason to just do this now. We, they, they can see our hand. So it's like, whatever. Um, so yeah, we should be good unless they like top deck. It was a little bit of a risky thing because we should have targeted, we should have got a creature, but I'm playing for like, because like now we're going to gain six, right? Now we're going to gain six. Okay. Can we do both? Oh my God, we can. So we Rex. 
We freaking can, dude. Rexers gain sixer. It's Jover, brother. Worm. Friggin' what are you gonna do about it, bro? We're getting six a creature. We should we should have got this guy. That would have been that would have been sick. Um Yeah, dude. I think that is a move that we can make. <laughs> okay. So we can cast Rex if it dies. We can cast our Overlord or Mr. Froggers. Ruin Lurky. Okay, folks. Folks, it's not going to be enough. This guy hasn't scooped yet. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept up Frog, but nah, dude, because we got enough damage. Um, really, though? Because we can get back Frog Frogmog. Like, what? Maybe we can get back Frogmog. Yeah. So yeah, I when I got the two of those, I was a little greedy. Because like they potentially could have laid a card that just like pinged us for like I think it was nine at the time. Um But yeah, we got him. I mean that's a That's a lot of damage, mates. Okay. So that was cool. Like, dude, Doppelganger is so good. It's so fun. Alright, let's get a nice little game. We have a kind of a okay hand. It's all right. It's all right. We have the thunder clap, thunder trap. Um, <laughs> which, sorry, a little hyper. I just drank a Red Bull and I'm wired, baby. So gets removed. That is fine because it does its job on the answer of the battlefield, right? There's the doppel. Now this card is deadly. With um, hmm. I'm trying to choose. This is actually a tough choice. We can... Uh, let's grab the Glimpse the Core. We'll get another Doppel. We're running three. So we should be able to find it. And typically you want to cast it for X's two. Eight uh, mana in total. Which is sort of the sweet spot, I would say. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead. I guess we'll find a Forest. So the idea is... We just ramp super quick. We cast things like a Valgavos Onslaught. Railway Brawler is absolutely incredible. It really, really is. Cannot go wrong, my friends. <clears throat> I didn't finish this. Hang on. We love to see that. They did not get their mana. Oh, they did. Okay. So they just cast the creature half, which is totally fine. That doesn't put, like, any pressure on us, really. You know, you sort of budget your life total versus how much you want to ramp in this deck. Um, and it usually ends up being fantastic. So, one thing... So, it looks like we should lay Railway Brawler, but we get more value if we plot it. But, I don't know if we're going to go... Well, let's lay Railway Brawler. No. Let's lay this. We will... Swing. I think next turn we go for the Rampy McLampy. They did go for a trade, which is nice, because they want to draw another card, so... Not even a trade, just a little chunk block action. They only blocked two damage there by doing that, but so they just probably really need to draw a card. I would almost never make that block. To be honest, the deck is so fun, dude. Like, when you cast a Doppel for two or a Valga for, like... Dude, I've cast this for eight. So I'm talking I had 17 mana. 
So I got eight creatures with eight counters. And if you have a railway brawler, then, right, you, uh, what the hell is that? That's 20 power guys. You're getting eight 20 power guys. It's honestly buku bananas. Um, part of me wants to do this. So we go ahead, we plot this. We can glimpse the core, which is fine. We can also sacrifice the harvest, but really doesn't matter, I would say. We don't need to swing. Let's not swing. Let's not give them a card and force them to have to do a removal spell if they desperately want to. Um, it gets a removal spell out of their hand. Okay, there it is. And it's a four mana removal spell. So that's exactly what we wanted to see, to be honest. We are not worried whatsoever, folks. Yeah, so uh, they're pretty much buku banana right now. Um, Railway Brawler. This is kind of an awkward cast, right? We cast it for three. But even then... I mean, look at this, right? Ooh, okay. So we definitely get this guy, because this guy can flip over and be pretty deadly. And let's see. So we got a Thunder Trap. Um, it really doesn't matter. They all go to the graveyard. We don't really have graveyard stuff. So boom, bam... Three ten tens, man. Like, hello. I mean, I like that, dude. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of three ten tens. Absolutely busted. This guy becomes a freaking twelve eleven, dude. Like, let's go. And now you know we look for the. Ah, oh, bro, that is such a bummer. Well. This guy, and this guy, I mean, yeah, because, like, you want to keep your Brawler, Brawler can get you so much value, it probably gets removed here, or next turn, but, um, yeah, they can't swing in, I imagine they would use their removal spell now, well, they might be waiting, they might be waiting, okay, they have it, so that's fine. That was, like, the Rush of Dread there was, like, one of the better cards they could have had, I would say. Um, so, turn it face up. 13 power. We will search. Get one more mana out of the deck. What's really powerful... Is like so you cast this guy um, this guy also has delirium right now so that's like absolutely beautiful so they're going for both so they're down to four we can just cast this guy again from the graveyard but like what's nutty yeah we can do both we can lay this and cast this from the graveyard so big fan big fan oh we get a ramp but yeah you can you can target your overlords um, friggin' with Doppelganger when they're impending, which, like, it helps you ramp. That's often going to happen. That's sort of the idea. And then you, you get the creature without, you know, it's not tapped vibes. So, Shibumi, we win right here. Shibami. Alright. Easy peasy. Lemon with the squeezy. Dude, Splash Portal is so good with the frogs and the otter that we're playing. Um... It actually goes bananas because it draws you a card and reintroduces their great ETBs. 